In this third video, I'd like to demonstrate a little bit the um, temperature sensing capability and a little bit about the range on this particular tag. So this is the one I just configured and um, it is reading out, you can see on my reader, it's reading out the temperature at about 16 C, the battery is still about 2.78 volts. And the first thing I want to try to do is to put it inside a refrigerator and see if it still works. So here we are in the kitchen. Close the fridge, and let's see, we're still getting beacons. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, the RSSI is, is significantly down because it's being shielded inside of, the, inside of the refrigerator, but it's still, you know, respectable, somewhere between minus 60 and minus 70 dBm. And, oops, and you can see that the, the temperature is slowly going down to 10 C, now it's going to 9 C. Um, so it's actually measuring the inside temperature on the refrigerator. So um, while that's going down, let's go for a little. So I'll take a couple steps outside in the office. And see, all right, so hold up the beacon app. Oh, we're still reading, still getting a, a fairly detectable signal from the beacon. And keep going. So now I'm all the way on the other side of uh, in place office. Let's see. Still, the RSSI is still updating. Let's see, it's about oh, minus 95, minus 94. Um, this phone is, has pretty good sensitivity, uh, which also factors into the equation. Um, but the bottom lines are still getting the signal uh, all the way on the other side of the office through refrigerator, through a wall. And you can see the temperature is updated. Now it's reading 3 degrees C. So I demonstrated that the, the nanobeacon tag can work well from inside of a refrigerator measuring cold. And I'd also like to show that I can just as, uh, just as well measure warm things. So for that, I brought a hair dryer. So this, well, let's take a picture of what it is right now. You can see. Um, about 17C, and it's receiving the beacons okay. And I'm going to set up, let's see, turn this around so you can see. Turn on some heat. You see the temperature is already up to 39, 40 C, 41, um, Temperature went up to about over 85 degrees C, and there was no issue. It comes down pretty quickly to ambient. Um, but there you have it. Um, so it completes my temperature measurement demonstration with Nanobeacon. Um, and just as a note, this was using the temperature sensor that's actually on the die on the chip. Um, and it's also possible to configure to use the external temperature sensor or a temperature sensor you may have and are familiar with, um, or any other sensor for that matter. So um, yeah, that concludes that demonstration. 
and uh, thanks for watching.